Hello folks, Pastor Rocky Branch. I hope you're doing great this morning. How's your belief factor today? Do you believe God can work it out? Do you believe God can do anything? Well, this time of year we think about a lot of things and one of the things we think about is, well, Jesus' birth. His birth is so important to us, obviously, because as one of our ladies said Sunday morning in church, without his birth, there would never be his death. Without his death, there'd never be a resurrection. But when we think about the birth of Jesus Christ, when we think about that, all people that have ever heard of Jesus Christ has heard that his mother Mary was a virgin. Now, you just can't do that. I mean, it, it, listen. You, you might be able to formulate something in a test tube and, and all that sort of stuff, and you might make some sort of adjustment somewhere down the road. I don't even know all about that. But what I do know is this. A woman cannot have a child without the aid of a man. It just can't happen. But it did. You see, it's important to understand that God did something. Listen to me. God did something impossible, and the world knows it. Not everybody in the world, but we're trying to get there. But the population, the large population of the globe knows that Jesus Christ was born. Whether they believe in him or not, they know that Jesus Christ was born. They know that his mother has been called the Virgin Mary. Now, you listen, you just can't do that. What are you dealing with that you think God can't do? Come on. What's going on in your life right now that you just said, well, that's just too tough even for God? Oh, no. God's able to do it. The, the, the point being is Galatians reminds us, in the fullness of time, God sent his son to a woman under the law to redeem man from the law. In the fullness of time. You see, God can do anything. That's not the issue. Never has been the issue. You get, I mean, you, you think about how impossible. Listen, God has done things in nature. He has done things in human life. He has done things uh, in, the, in, in the atmosphere, in the sky. God, I mean, God has done unbelievable things that are impossible to do. Well, the Bible says that God hung the stars and he called them by name. The Bible says that God tells the sea how far to come up and keeps it within its bounds. The whole earth would be flooded without that. God is awesome, and he can help you. So, well, I don't know. Well, listen, Mary, Mary was faced with one of the most challenging things that you could ever put on a piece of paper. I'm going to have a child. I know one thing, Gabriel, the angel. I know one thing. I have never known a man, but you're going to have a child. How can that be? The power of the Holy Spirit will overshadow you, and you shall conceive in your womb, and you shall bear forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. Say amen, somebody. Listen, there is nothing, everybody say nothing watching, nothing, there is nothing impossible with God. Nothing. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't make any difference. Animal can speak. Doesn't matter. Girl never been with a man have a child. Victory. Your situation can be accomplished if, if you trust and obey and understand God's plan for your life. Mary's life was planned just like yours, just like mine. Mary said, how be it thy servant? How be it unto you my servant? Thy servant, I'll follow you. Mary was prophesied way back in the book of Isaiah that a virgin shall conceive. That's 700 years before Jesus came along. God knows. And God knows about your situation. He knows about your broken heart. He knows about your loneliness. He knows about when you're laying in bed and you reach over and there's nobody there. He knows. Does it hurt? Yes. Is it challenging? Of course. But he knows. You see, God wants to help us to understand that he's closer 
than my voice to you. He's closer than my hands to my face. He's in me. He's in you. Oh, can he do it? Oh, yes, yes, yes. At the fullness of time. God's never, never late. Very rarely is he early. He's normally right on time all the time. God wants to do something in you. But your belief system has convinced you that your situation is so unique and so overwhelming that God that did everything, and yes, you believe it. You believe in the virgin birth of Christ. You believe that he hung the stars and called them by name. You believe that he said to the ocean, stay in your banks. You believe that he raised Lazarus from the dead. You believe all that, but not in your situation you don't believe it. I'm telling you, God can do it in you in the fullness of his time. What does that mean, Pastor? Endure, embrace, and enjoy. Endure what you're dealing with. It may not be the best thing. There's a lot of people in bad situations. God gives the grace, though, in times like that. And embrace it. Don't, don't run from it. Embrace it. Uh, come before God. And, and, and we, always, we always pray and ask God. Of course we do. But we always pray, Lord, what's, what your will is for my life, I want to do. So I, I embrace that. And then I enjoy my life because other people that know me, that know that I've lost a loved one, or know that I am looking for a job, or know that my health is not good, or know that I'm challenged in some area or the other, then they know that, especially the closeness of your family knows that. And then when they look at you and they see you enjoying your relationship with God and your love for the Lord and your care for others, they're going to say, wow, how can this person, me knowing what they're going through, knowing what they're challenged by, still enjoy their life with Christ? Oh, that's the witness you see. See, God wants to help you to endure to embrace, to enjoy, and then to enrich other people's lives. In the fullness of time, God will provide what is necessary. But let us continue on and please Him, well, that hung the stars and called them by name. That's pretty big. That raised Lazarus from the dead. It's pretty strong. Well, they just did some amazing things, like take a virgin girl and let her have a baby. Is anything too big for God? I don't think so. Your problem is within his reach. Just make sure you remain in the fullness of his time. And if you do this, God will bless you for it. God bless you. We love you. And goodbye.